It doesn't seem like it, but it's been a dozen years since the geniuses running the National Health Insurance Program realized that they were spending too much money taking care of people with lifestyle choice diseases like diabetes and obesity. With the Fed working overtime, printing money, and inflation running wild, it got to the point where they either had to admit they'd made a mistake or do something drastic. Naturally, they got drastic. The president declared a health emergency, and Congress passed the mandatory National Health Maintenance Act. The NHMA said that since certain citizens were behaving irresponsibly by abusing their bodies, thereby consuming more than their fair share of public health care money, certain foods would henceforth and hereafter be either strictly rationed or available by prescription only, or something like that. High cholesterol foods thought to increase blood lipid levels and raise the risk for heart attacks and strokes topped the list. Yes, the public howled, along with the dairy and egg industries, but the feds stood firm since it was not an election year and used phrases like bite the bullet and national interest and public good until we were all ready to barf. Eventually, somebody at one of the drug companies developed something to put in chicken feed that took most of the cholesterol out of the yolk, so the poultry industry was safe. Butter was out, no compromise, no exceptions. You use polyunsaturated margarine or you use nothing, case closed. Well, almost closed. Most people hunkered down and learned to live with the lipid laws as they came to be known, but we're not all good citizens. A friend of mine, Wilson Gurney, found a farmer with an old milk cow who was churning real butter on the side. Then Gurney found another farmer that was keeping some laying hens in his barn and not giving them the special government feed. Before he knew it, Gurney was making more money running bootleg butter and eggs than he ever did selling rods and reels. He was a lipid legger. Ah, nice to know there's still a few places a man can enjoy the finer pleasures in life. Gurney, don't you ever worry about getting caught? No. Uh, I got a clean record and the jails are busting at the seams, but what I'm worried about is getting marked as a lipid legger. Then the feds would be up in my business all the time. Yeah, you're probably right. Now, I don't know about you, Gabe, but I put in a lot of time and effort into keeping a low profile. So, how do you spot them, the narcs, when they come and try to bust you? Oh, that's easy. I can spot a man's poison at 50 paces. Some it's egg, some it's butter, and some it's whole sweet milk. <clears throat> Most of these poor fools' mamas follow the lipid law so they don't know any better. But let me tell you something. You find a man's poison, you can have him eaten right out of your hand. I can see that. Butter. Definitely butter. Can I help you with something? Yeah, I'm uh, looking for some new flies to uh, try out on the river. Some uh, groceries, maybe some eggs, butter. Well, the flies are in that rack over there and the groceries are over there in that cooler. I heard that uh, you have the real thing for sale. Where'd you hear a thing like that? City. The only tie I got to the city is selling rods, reels, and flies to weekend anglers that come up here. How'd you hear about me up there? Sam Hollingsworth? <clears throat> Sam's a good customer. A good friend, too. How do you know him? Well, he and my uncle are uh, old fishing buddies. <laughs> he used to tell some great stories about uh, coming up here on fishing trips. How come you don't look for your real butter and eggs down there? I heard they're real easy to get. Yeah, it's just they're sometimes spoiled and there's no arguing with the types of people who uh, supply those types of things. There's no money back guarantee with those guys. 
And you figure it's going to be closer to the source. Now, I don't sell the stuff, of course, but uh, there's plenty of young folks around that's never even tasted a real egg or butter. How do a fellow like you get a hankering for that kind of contraband? Europe. <laughs> I went to school in Brussels, and uh, uh, it's all still legal over there. Now I just can't get used to these uh, nasty substitutes. Is that the real thing? No games? It's a real thing. Even has a little salt added to it for flavor. <sighs> Great. James Callahan, Public Health Service, Enforcement Division. You're under arrest, Mr. Gurney. <laughs> What's so funny? public health officer with a taser gun? You don't think there's anything funny about that? Don't you know those things cause heart attacks? Look, there was nothing conclusive in any of those reports. Now, Mr. Gurney, I want you to move really slowly from behind the counter. Hands where I can see them. We're about to take a little ride to the federal building. Where'd the other guy go? <laughs> he went to go get the boys. Let's not do anything foolish here. You know I wasn't crazy enough to come up here by myself. Look, Mr. Gurney, you've got nothing to worry about. You'll get a first offender suspended sentence, a small probation, maybe some community service. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. Ah, oh, it's ready. How come you're out here messing with me? I'm small time. All the big fish are in the city. Yeah, and they've already bought everyone who's for sale. You can't get a conviction down there if you bring a legger in smeared with butter with egg in his mouth. So you pick on me. Someone who buys from Hollingsworth let slip that he used to connect with someone who used to come up here and make lipid legging trips to the city. It wasn't that hard to find you. Look, I need a rest to be promoted. And I'll take them where I can get them. Here. Well, go ahead. You gotta taste it. How else are you gonna know that ain't margin unless you taste it? Here, take this, it's on the house. Gabe will be back any minute with the boys. You leave here, now, we can avoid any unpleasantness. Catch those bad guys down in the city. When you get a hankering for the real thing, you come back up here and I'll make sure you're well taken care of. You got a deal. Well, was it butter? Yep, and he'll be back when that's ate up. Uh, first one's always free, right? You know it, baby. I'm just glad I have a few boxes of old comics laid back. Did you see this? Oh yeah, I hear they're thinking about passing a law against being too much overweight. And they're thinking about a ban on clothing of a certain size. Well, there's gotta be an angle in there for me somewhere. This is a mighty savory fish. And the feds thought they were gonna put a ban on this stuff? 
What the devil were they thinking? They're feds. They weren't thinking. What they don't seem to realize is for every one of them, there's a hundred of us. More to the point, each one of us is worth a thousand of them.